Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Crypto Daily Traders. The Ric Flair of crypto in the house. Woo! The ice ice baby, the vanilla ice of crypto. Call those ice guys. And hey guys, gals, this is our uh, evening time uh, update from uh, Vietnam, guys. So good morning to everybody in America and Canada and uh, everybody in uh, Europe. Good afternoon, guys. Hopefully you guys are having a great, great uh, day out there. And uh, we're seeing uh, the markets overall pretty pretty much green uh, so far today. We saw that uh, Bitcoin has gone over $44,000 today. Uh, Ethereum is way above uh, $3,000. So it's all looking good. Doge is holding pretty strong, guys. But you know, this is the final countdown, guys. This is it. This is the final down count countdown for crypto. And remember, this video is not uh, financial advice. It's only uh, for education and entertainment purposes. So yeah, once again, this is the final countdown for crypto. September is about to come to a close. And we've got some huge things coming up uh, in America in a couple hours. We've got the whole uh, infrastructure bill uh, vote that's kind of supposed to be happening today unless it gets delayed and pushed back. So it's been pushed back once. So it's supposed to happen today. This is going to have far reaching, far reaching implications on uh, on crypto. But you know, once again, you know they've they've talked. You know, Gary Gensler he always likes to talk about DeFi, DeFi, DeFi. And you know, I really, I, I really think they don't understand how big it is and and what they're really talking about. Because you know, to actually manage DeFi is going to be very, very impossible sure they, they can they can regulate centralized exchanges like binance ftx uh you know kraken uh you know bitpay and all of this all these different exchanges that are centralized sure they can they can definitely regulate those but going after DeFi, like you know if you're if you're holding like a, a pancake tokens and you're you're uh, doing liquidity or pools uh, on their on their decks it's not possible guys and if you're using something like trust wallet or metamax max they have a built-in dex decentralized exchange right in there and that cannot be regulated so i think the regulators they i, I think they're going to bite up more than they chew and sure regulation is good if it protects individuals but it, it as long as it doesn't stop the innovation so you know this is like a freight train going 200 miles an hour or 250 kilometers an hour if I do the conversion. And you can't stop the freight train when it's out of control, guys. You can either get out of the way. That's all. Crypto is here. Crypto is coming and there's nothing they can do about it, guys. So, you know, the final countdown is here. Then we've got September is almost out of here. So we've got the final, final countdown. We're also going to talk about some catalysts that we saw in 2013. 2017 and we're saying seeing exactly the same catalyst as we're seeing now and we have about you know 147 days till we see the top i believe that 147 days we're going to see the absolute top of this bull run and we're counting down and this is not the first time we've seen this happen before in the last three bull cycles that from approximately today's date we have 147 days and it's based on the Fibonacci level so we're going to jump into that we're going to jump into SEC we're going to jump into infrastructure bill this is the final countdown before crypto starts to explode guys I'm telling you buckle up because this is going to be a moonshot not only for Bitcoin not only for Dogecoin but all the cryptos are going to explode we're going to see the altcoins become frothy we're going to see the altcoins become foamy and it's Amazing guys, it's a great time to be alive. So if you've been holding and hodling your crypto, uh, you know, for a long period of time, if you've been hodling and holding your crypto for five months, six months, you are, you should be in, you should be in the green right now and you're, you're probably going to, 1x or 2x your money guys. I believe it. We're going to see huge, huge, huge explosion. But remember, you guys have to remember, in 2022, we're going to see Bitcoin go down exactly when we could see Bitcoin you know probably go down to you know 30,000 25,000 level in 22 in 23 we're probably going to see Bitcoin go down you know 15,000 to 20,000 level and then in 2024 just before the accumulation phase before we have the next halving we could see you know Bitcoin between Ten and fifteen thousand dollars. So that is going to be the time. That is going to be the absolute time when you want to load up because in 2025, the bull run in 2025, kaboom, guys, kaboom. You know, this is when we're going to see the glorious, the glorious, uh, you know, five hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin come in at its top, guys. So just remember what I said: 2022, when the market starts to tank. Expect Bitcoin to be going down between thirty to twenty-five thousand. 
in 2023, expect Bitcoin to be trading between, you know, 20, 20 to 25,000. You know, that's the best guess estimate. And then 2024, 15 to 25,000 dollar range, uh, even lower. I mean, we could even go as low as 10, guys. So that's why you want to have stable coins on the sidelines. And when we have the blow off top, if we have a blow off top, we may not have a blow off top. We may have a nice upward uh, climb and then a slow climb. So that's why you need to set your absolute sell, maximum sell targets for Bitcoin, for Ethereum, and uh, for your other old coins. And it's really important you do that. And don't waver on that, because if you wait too long and you think, oh, it's gonna go up, take your profits while you can, because we're getting closer and closer to the to the top of this bull run. We've only got October, November, and December. And depending on how this infrastructure bill uh, pans out, uh, you know, things could go down Things could go down, and I'm pro I'm seeing that you know if if, if this infrastructure gil bill gets passed, we could see ourselves retesting around about thirty eight thousand dollars for Bitcoin. Uh, that seems to me my my line in the sand for Bitcoin around thirty eight thousand. So we get, should get pushed down that low if the infrastructure bill gets passed, because there's going to be a lot of retailers retail panicking, and some 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 low level institutions might also be panicking. So guys, just get ready for that. That uh, this could be you know this is a you know we got like three three or four days left in September depending on your time zone. So we could it could it could be rough depending on when this infrastructure bill uh, passes. Now remember we've got three ETFs. With possible with possible approval coming in in October, I think the first one comes in around about the 18th of October, and that's ProShares uh, ETF. If that happens, that's going to be bullish, and that's going to also catapult uh, crypto to to new all time highs. And Bitcoin could start seeing six figures coming in by December. So, guys, my God, it's a great time to be alive, guys. So. Don't show anything more. And we're gonna get it. Remember, I'm working for you guys, so this is a great time to be alive. So let's jump into the content. Let's do it right now. And uh, before I do that, guys, don't forget to help the OG out a little bit. You know, I've got the mountains and the sea in the background, so things are looking pretty good here in Asia. It's a nice day. It's hot, hot, hot. And I. Uh, Amazingly, there's uh, been a power outage where I am. So actually, there's no power in my apartment right now. No AC, so it's hot. So I'm doing this on the balcony, and luckily, I'm running on I'm running on the battery. Normally, the apartment has full generator backup, but I don't know what's going on with the, with the people in the ma management here. They seem to be just like I don't know something's wrong with the generator. So we'll find out. So guys, with that being said, guys, do me a favor. The OG we just want to say. This channel would not be possible without all of your beautiful support, uh, my beautiful crypto family, my beautiful Dogecoin army out there, my be beautiful Dogecoin tribe subscribers and members. I just want to say I love you guys to death. I love you so much. And please show some love back. Smash the likes right now. Let's see if we can get this uh, video up to at least uh, 600, 700 likes. I need you to do that for me. I need you to take the time out to watch it and, and smash the likes. And guys, don't forget to subscribe me right now. Subscribe. Get the subscribe button. Do it right now. And if you haven't subscribed, please do it, guys. A lot of you uh, are watching and watch regularly. I can see you in the live streams, but you're watching, but you're not subscribing, guys. So, you know, please subscribe, support the OG, guys. Let's do it. So, let's jump into some news. We're going to talk about some news. We're going to talk about some SEC news. We also got uh, some fun news. I think you guys uh, like it. So, Gox the hamster seems like Gox the hamster. He's outperforming the S and P uh, and uh, crypto right crypto markets right now. Let's talk about the hamster, and uh, then we're going to jump into some TA. Then we're going to uh, look at uh, you know where the coins are, guys. So let's do it, guys. Let's get into it. So uh, with that being said, let's get into the first news article here, right here. So we got the uh, House of Representatives to deliver the verdict on infrastructure bill. I talked about that. And it's about you know it's about three point five billion uh, three point five trillion not billion I get your trillion package is fine it's been finalized and uh, Democrats are divided on whether to pass the legislation before the terms of the follow up but you know I think it's going to be voted on and you know of course you know one of the angry grannies uh, Pelosi in the house you know the Gary Gensler the the three musketeers so according to Reuters Pelosi expressed confidence that the legislation will pass uh, a pass upon announcing the date on Sunday uh, September twenty 26 starting and uh, let's see what happens so tomorrow September 20th we begin debate on the floor on uh, hopefully by Thursday the the uh, Thursday September 30th they will have the final vote so we should hear pretty soon so it's a 27th here in Asia so let's see what happens uh, tomorrow uh, or or today but America time see what happens hopefully the thing gets uh, thrown out of there but I don't think so I think they're gonna railroad this right down everybody's throats they're gonna ram it down the throats uh, and this has got this whole broken 
definition, which is really, it's so broad that it's going to, it's going to just put a damper on the miners. I remember a lot of miners have been looking for a home and a lot of the miners have relocated from China to the U.S. So once this infrastructure bill takes place, they can actually be out of there and say, look, we're not going to have any of this. They should be relocating to Kazakhstan or one of the stands, wherever that may be. So this is really not good because the broad definition of a broker means if you're running a node, you, 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 are now a broker. If you're running a DeFi platform, you're now a broker. If you're developing, uh, you know, blockchain applications and transactions go through, you're now a broker. So, you know, and the thing is, particularly with, uh, you know, decentralized finance and the whole blockchain technology and the whole thing about crypto is this, you know, anonymity thing. How are you going to KYC? So it's really going to be a big, you know, a big Debbie Downer. So I don't, and the thing is, they have created a bill uh, based on not understanding what this whole technology is. So it's going to put uh, the U.S. in the dark zone, in the dark ages, when it comes to crypto technology and uh, crypto in general. So so that's not good, guys. That's absolutely not good. No one's going to love it. No one's going to like it. And it's just going to have a whole crypto crypto development uh, meltdown. And, uh, you know, who are they protecting? Who are they serving? I have no idea. You know, it's pay to play. It's pay to play up on the hill, guys. Absolutely, it's pay to play. So don't beat me up in the comments, guys. Some other news that's coming in. China fears... Is now infrastructure bill fear five things to watch uh, Bitcoin. So this is basically the same thing. So basically, you know, we've had we've had we've had the China bans. Now we're going to have the infrastructure flood. The good thing about this, the good thing about the, the most of the retail investors now, we're pretty we're pretty flood resilient. You know, we've had everything thrown out as we had regulation, a China flood. Now with the infrastructure bill, I think people, I think people are kind of a little bit expecting it to happen so i don't think it's going to have much of a bite like people think so you know these are some things to look at i think some key levels to watch i mean they're saying that uh, you know some traders are saying that the the key floor level is 36000 i don't think so for me i'm saying that it's going to be 38000 will be the, the key floor level i don't think we're going to drop below that so guys if we drop below that don't panic october it's going to be spectacular this is a final countdown a final countdown for infrastructure bill a final countdown for the cryptos to explode guys so make sure you guys on that don't panic don't panic so you know and this uh bill includes the uh you know contentious description of a broker one one which could have far-reaching implications we talked about that and you know there's been there's been some pushback from uh, Senator Toomey and uh, other senators, you know, like uh, Ted Cruz, yeah, go Ted. And uh, so, you know, and I think also uh, Catherine Long, she's also fighting back too, but this thing is gonna get rammed down their throats uh, because they don't have the majority, guys. So we're just gonna have to take it, live with it, and hopefully uh, by 2024, it'll be out of there. So guys, just gonna have to live with it, but it's gonna be, it's it's not gonna be good, guys. So some other stuff that's happening right now. Uh, this is really funny. I thought this was really funny, is that we got this crypto cryptocurrency trading hamster. It's a real hamster, guys. Outperforms Bitcoin and S&P 500 since June. So basically, uh, you know, there's a hamster and he trades cryptocurrency has been outperforming Bitcoin and S&P. The rodent called Mr. Gox uses a device called the Gox Box, <laughs> the Gox Box, and to give signals and make purchases in front of live streaming audience. Uh, that follows him. Mr. Gox has also achieved an impressive current score of plus 24% and even plus 50% before the last crypto sell-off. So this hamster should be uh, should be a win the uh, trader of the war the, the year of award. So I thought that's funny. I thought it's funny. Uh, you know, it, it's just funny. So basically we got a crypto trading hamster who's pushing buttons that has no idea what he's going on. It's pure, it's pure random energy out there, but he's outperforming uh, Bitcoin. I mean, anybody can out, anybody can outperform the S&P 500 right, when it comes to crypto, right? But this is just a funny story. Way to go, Mr. Gox. You, I, we got to get him on our team. We got to, we got to get him to be an honorary a crypto daily trade signal VIP member. So I'm going to send a shout out to them. I'm going to get him on as a, a, a honorary VIP member. Yeah, Mr. Gar, and uh, maybe we can get some trade signals from him. Let's get it. <laughs> I thought that's funny. The hamster, the house. So. Here's another thing. We're seeing that since this whole China crackdown, we're seeing that uh, uh, there's been a whole bunch of uh, transfers from exchanges, like especially Hubei, because Hubei just like, okay, if you're a Chinese national, we've got to close it. We can't offer you any services. So there's been almost 3 billion in Bitcoin, 800K Ether transferred off, guys. So this happened just like lickety split. So following the latest statements from the Chinese Central Bank concerning cryptocurrency and offshore crypto exchange, massive amounts of funds have been moving on chain on September 6th, approximately 1 a.m. UTC time, 72,999 
Bitcoin or 3.1 billion Bitcoin disappeared from unknown wants. And uh, we also had uh, Hubei and gradually retired mainland China use. 800 uh, Ether was also moved out of Hubei wallet as well. So we're seeing that, you know, we have these massive mail whale uh, alerts for, for uh, Ether. These are coming out of Hubei. So it looks like, you know, with that announcement, you can see there's a whole ton of capital in crypto that are being held by Chinese and they're moving their wallet to uh, hardware wallets to uh, wait for another rainy day. Maybe in about two or three years when we have the next halving, they'll be able to do something with it. But I'm sure, listen, this is crypto, guys. If you get a ban here, you can always find a way. You can always find a way. There's a tons of third party and this and that. It's not a problem, guys. Absolutely not a problem. You know, don't worry about bans. Ban, ban is just... You know, really, if you're if you're a, a serious crypto person and you know the industry and you've been in this for a while, a crypto ban doesn't mean that, you, that guys. Trust me. All right, don't worry about it. So other things you need to tell you, Ethereum alternatives and layer one solutions steady gains in September. So we're seeing a lot of layer one solutions have been making huge gains. This has been like you know. Phantom has been made huge gains and one of the reasons they're making huge gains is because you know the competing space for Ethereum and if we look at the layer one smart contract platform have been on the rise in the past couple of months and uh, traders and developers continue to embrace Ethereum network for alternatives that offer faster transaction time and lower fees. So for example Solana is faster. The fees are, are a whole bunch, whole whole lot cheaper. Uh, Phantom is faster. Uh, Avalanche is faster. Terra, Luna. So these are the big projects that you guys need to be looking at. And I think that as the final countdown, the final countdown for the crypto explosion that's coming, uh, that these projects are going to do very well. These layer one uh, projects are absolutely going to blast off. And I did tell you guys weeks ago that you should be getting into them. You know, Phantom, Solana, Terra, Luna, these layer one tokens will absolutely explode. This is not financial advice, this is my opinion, guys. Some other uh, data that's coming out. So here's some interesting stuff. We can see that. You know, if we look at uh, if we look at the cycle landmarks, uh, we can see days to the top. You know, days to the top from July, is 147 days. In 2017, 147 days, and it's looking like it's also going to be 170 days as well. Uh, began last impulse, October, October. Typically, we get the final last impulse and push to the top, push the blow off top, also in October. And you can see that. You know, we topped the 2.27 and 2.37 Fibonacci level in July, in July in 2013, in July 2017. So history is definitely repeating itself here. And uh, we can see that, you know, when we hit the 2.27, we had Bitcoin in 2001.2, they had 13K, and then we're predicting 200K. And we can see here that, you know, in 2017, 2013, you know, we've had the reset high in July, reset September, reset high in July, reset September. So you can see that history is actually re repeating itself. And, you know, based on the target and based, if we look at where all the, all the other fractals have been and been moving in 2013 and 2017, we can see by this fractal data here and the Fibonacci retracement levels that we should be hitting, you know, uh, I mean, this is optimistically uh, 200 thousand dollars conservatively a hundred thousand so somewhere anywhere in between that so guys keep that in keep that in mind it's really positive news and some other data that uh, is coming out too as we can see that fewer and fewer old hands are finding reason to take action on at these prices they have weathered a mountain of foot so we're seeing right now that you know short-term holders supply has reached an equal all-time low so that means that more and more of the short-term holders of bitcoin are not are not panicking they're not panicking sell and that means that you know, given the accumulation we observed last time, we were at 30 to 40k. This trend will likely continue. So what that means, just think about Bitcoin. It's basic supply and demand. We have a lot of demand. We have no supply, and we're seeing that even short-term holders are now hodling and diamond hands. And we're seeing that most of the Bitcoin that's being exchanged or sold on exchanges is Bitcoin that is less than a week old. So that is all the newbie investors, all the all the day traders, guys, and all the, all the leverage traders. But you're, there's something phenomenally happening right now. We can see that. You know the distribution now. We're seeing a lot of a lot of coins that are very young and are being hodled. Never like never like before, guys. So that's really bullish news. And guys, just a reminder. You guys have seen this before. I got to keep reminding you. So you know, get some hope. You're in. This is a final countdown. Final countdown. And we're going to see that uh, September is, you know, it's always bad. October is going to pump, November is going to pump, and December is going to pump. And I think we should have, you know, the blow off top probably either, you know, end of January, middle of January. I think that's when we're going to hit our all-time highs, guys. So I'm going to keep you updated. I will 
absolutely when i when i find out and hear anything that you know when we can predict the uh, top is in i will let you know asap emergency video this is the top take action that'll be that'll be the, the the title and guys keep an eye out for that it could be coming time anytime soon so once you see that then i'm going to be taking my profits i'm going to be moving coins on the sidelines getting stable coins and getting ready for those dippity dips that are going to be coming in 2022 2023 and 2024 guys and that's how you do it that's how you do it you buy you sell at the top buy at the bottom and wait for life-changing wealth guys Woo! let's get it guys so with that being said let's take a look at the total market cap right now so right now we can see that the total market cap is 1.95 trillion, and uh, we're we're up uh, we're up about 0.74 percent. We were doing a lot better before, but the, the market caps come down a lot. I think hopefully America, you guys can take it up green. But I got a bad feeling you guys are gonna turn a green day into a red day. You guys are always doing that. The Yankee Doodles out there are always messing up with the crypto. I take it down, down. So guys, don't be weak, Nancy's. Don't wet the bed. This is not the time to be selling. Even if we see Bitcoin going down to, uh, even if we see Bitcoin going down to like uh, 36, 38,000. So right now we can see that Bitcoin on the uh, weekly uh, Bitstamp chart is a, at uh, 43,539. And you can see here that the 21 day, day EMA, we were closing above that. And now we're exactly in line with that on this the beginning of this week's candle guys so don't panic don't panic i think absolutely we're going to get up there we may see ourselves going down to uh the 38 level so this is my this is where i see a big this is bitcoin on the uh, the four hour chart and this is a binance four chart remember different uh, exchanges have a different uh slippage so you may have to see different prices but don't panic that's normal so right now on the uh, binance chart we're seeing that uh, uh, bitcoin is at 43,643 so you can see we had this dump we had the pump we had the rejection I mean, this was all fud this is all fud then we had the separate fud then we had this beautiful w pattern here this w pattern here this is a neckline we've broken out of the neckline we we're looking very very good and healthy here in uh, asia now we've uh, retraced a little bit so if we can stay above this neckline we're going to be okay but i believe i believe based on you know what's happening and based on what's happening with the infrastructure bill, we could see ourselves breaking down, guys. So we've got some major support here at 41,000. But the worst case scenario, if we do break down, we could see ourselves break down uh, and go down to, to this level here. So we could see ourselves, basically, we could see ourselves going in this direction, guys, if we break down. Meandering here, passing the support, and going all the way down. Worst case scenario is we go down here. I don't think that's going to happen. I think that you know the market is going to be pretty, it, they're pretty resilient to this infrastructure bill. I think we've heard we've heard it up to here. Everybody knows it's coming. I think everybody, you know, as the French would say, fait accompli. That it's it's fate it's complete and so i don't think the market's going to have a really big reaction i don't think so worst case scenario it would go down to 38 but i don't think that's going to happen i think we're just maybe we'll hit hit in this level go back down to 41 42 000. but then this is the final countdown the final countdown guys and we're going to see cryptos explode in october remember that take that to the bank guys remember i'm working for you so let's take a look at the doge price right now so doge doge in the house right now let me just adjust the chart for you just adjust the chart yeah so right now doge is at 24.3 today we we were doing pretty good you know we were just we 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 got up to the 20 25 0 26 0 level and we we're looking like we we're going to break out from this so white descending uh, line but we we got rejected guys we, we got rejected and that's because of bitcoin is coming down i think you know because of this infrastructure vote that's coming uh i think people are getting a little bit of skittish and just kind of maybe on the sidelines a little bit i don't think there's going to be any panic selling i wouldn't worry about that too much guys let's take a look at ethereum in the house uh let's start a term let's start a term that's bitcoin i pull up the wrong chart let me take a look at ethereum in the house so ethereum basically the same you know we did pretty good uh, this morning here in asia and we were able to get ourselves to a high of uh, 3166 and uh we got rejected from this is this is a 3154 line we got rejected once twice uh, three times and now we're going down guys so this is some uh, this is some uh, serious 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 uh, resistance here and hopefully you can blow by, back below that if Bitcoin does drop and does dip you know we have some support around this level here so I think that we could see ourselves going down to twenty seven hundred dollars worst case scenario uh, if things go if things go south with the crypto right now so let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at Cardano in the house 
Cardano is doing okay, still going sideways. It's $22 and uh, $2 and 21 cents. And we got some really good solid support around this level at $2 and 15. Our next overhead target is $2 and 50 cents. So there's been a lot of good news, the chain link thing, the dish thing, the dish tie up. So hopefully Cardano will break out. But right now the markets are just kind of going sideways and we'll have to see what's happening with the pre-markets in uh, in America, guys. So don't panic about it. Let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at uh, uh, Solana and how Solana is still doing pretty good guys even though everything else is kind of going down Solana is it was able to get above my uh, my uh, line in the sand as I would say and the yellow line and it's looking good it's pretty good it's 143 so I think uh, we could be moving on up let's see what happens we I think we may get rejected and go below the yellow line depending on how America does guys so just keep an eye on that and then finally we got the avalanche in the house avalanche is you know, hit a high today of uh, $70, and right now we're trading at $68.47. So also not so bad. As long as we stay above this yellow line, we should be okay, guys. We should be positive. But we could get the, we could get uh, a drop depending on how Bitcoin reacts to the infrastructure bill. So let's take a look at the market cap and the volumes right now. So right now the market cap is $1.99 trillion. Total volume is 72.27. My Bitcoin dominance is much too high for my liking. It's 43.34. Uh, so that means that most of the... Uh, liquidity in the market is in Bitcoin and not in altcoin. So we need money to flow out of both, uh, the Bitcoin and flow back into altcoins to see this drop. And then, that, then we'll see the, the altcoins pumpity pump, guys. So right now, let's take a look at the markets right now. So we can see that Bitcoin is at 43,589. It's still up 0.6% from where we were 24 hours ago. So that's okay. And we're seeing that the Ethereum right now is at uh, 3,093. Remember, this is an aggregate of all the exchanges, right? So it'd be different than individual exchanges. So keep that in mind, guys, don't panic. ADA is at 2.222, and that's at $2.31, guys. BNB is at $348, and that's uh, down almost uh, 1%, guys. And uh, Solana in the house is up 5.43%. Yes, Solana is 142.45. And Polkadot is down 1%, 29.17. And Madoge in the house is still up, guys. So you see, Doge is still doing pretty good. It's, uh, it's up 0.14%, and that's almost pretty much closely tied with Bitcoin. So you guys have to understand that there's a huge correlation between Bitcoin and Dogecoin right now. And the Avalanche is up uh, to $68.75. $68.75 and that's up almost 1% guys so you know take a look at some other projects any if you see any projects uh, you know that are that are really you know double digits below then these might be good pickups so you know Adam no it's too it's it's you know only 2% down for the week uh, FTT no it's up already I told you guys to get into that so with that being said guys don't forget to follow me on my Twitter follow follow me on my Twitter I got to two thousand three hundred sixty four people on Twitter and don't forget I would not be able to do this channel have this channel without you guys and your support I love my Dogecoin army family I love you guys that show some love smash the likes guys smash the like and subscribe don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to go to all of my videos check my link in winky winky has got tons of links in there and remember none of this is financial advice this is the OG in the house the record of crypto spreading some love guys so don't forget to uh, go to Zen Music Alex this is a wife's channel subscribe BYB do it right now subscribe guys help happy wife happy life guys do that and also the other things you can show support for the channel go to patreon become a patreon member guys buy the channel a coffee uh go to uh, www.coffee.com crypto squad slash crypto squad buy the channel a coffee all of that goes to charity guys i love it you love it and let's let's check out the merch guys don't forget to check out the merch we've got tons of merch we've got hats we've got hoodies we got t-shirts or all sorts of stuff guys check out the merch and get the mug the mug we got the beautiful mug the mug we got the we got the Pillow, willow, willow, and we got back, back, in it, back, back. So, guys, check out the merch. If you buy some merch, send me a Twitter with you with the merch, and I'll uh, feature it on the next video, guys. So, with that being said, I just want to say I'm working for you. God bless all of you guys. I love you guys to death. Tell me how I'm doing in the comments. Don't forget to smash the likes again. And go with God. Be with God. God bless all of you. Love your neighbor. Love your wife. Love your kids. Just love the world, guys. Spread a little joy, guys. Spread a little joy. The OG singing, guys. So, I'll see you next time, guys. Be blessed, guys. Be blessed.